of the Jackson Blues Fest, Cindy Hayden Fuller. Hi, Cindy. Hi, how are you, Bart? I'm good, how are good. you? Good, I'm great. Yeah, how many years have we had this Blues Fest? This will be the 22nd year. Wow. I, I know, I just can't believe it. I just... I know my grandma always said time flies when you get older and I just thought, whatever, she's old, but now I'm there. <laughs> grandma was right. <laughs> yes. yes, she was. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. So uh, some big changes for uh, 2023 Blues Fest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've moved it to Tompkins Center. So they yeah. have a huge field. They can park over 800 cars, they say, and um, it's just going to be, it's going to be a great, great experience. So when is it? June 8th, 9th, and 10th. It's always uh, like the first Always, yep. Yeah, first full week of June. June. Yep. Yeah, first yep, week of it June. is. Yeah. So the first one I remember was in the parking lot of what was then Cool's Bell Tower. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, actually, t t tomorrow, uh, Mr. Cool, John Cool's funeral, he passed away uh, last week. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, so. Sad. Yeah, it is sad. Uh, but he created that <laughs> as a really a uh, destination with the market and the open space and the farmer's market yeah and it was a great way to start but it grew and you moved it to the fairgrounds next yes then the airport yes and now to Tompkins <laughs> yeah it was at Jurassic Golf last year oh that's right yeah and then we're moving it to Tompkins so yeah it's just you never know it's going to be a mystery festival you just have to know the password <laughs> to find out where it's going to be at <laughs> well we'll tell everyone no password required Tompkins Township in beautiful downtown Tompkins What's the lineup? Looks like you've got all the acts ready. Yes, I am. I am so ready. It's a really great lineup. Um, we have how many bands? Let's see, 19, 15 bands all together, and 11 of them are national acts, and the other four are regional bands. So, um, so it's a great lineup. Yes, I recognize some of those names, and some have, have been here before. Uh, yes, at, at the Blues Fest you mean, or in Jackson? The Blues Fest. Yes. Yes. Yep. Scott Ellison was here before, but he just won a international um, blues festival, a, a international blues band award. Oh. So, um, so he deserved to come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, last year out at uh, what was then? It's not there. It's not Jurassic. Uh, golf. I don't know what it's called it's now, but it was now. Jurassic Golf. Yeah. yeah. But you also did it at the blue at the uh, uh, Hyder Jubilee one year too, didn't yes, you? Yes, yeah, yeah, we partnered with them during COVID. Yeah, because yeah. The, you know they had this and we had that, and we partnered together, and it was great. So, yeah. so some some of the acts from you'll you'll have food for, food trucks. Yes, we're gonna have um, three food vendors. Yep. So it's okay. gonna be. Um, I just think it's better to have less than too many. That way, all of them make some money. So yes. Then they're all happy. Yeah. So and, and people. Uh, should bring their own uh, lawn chairs and beverages. Um, their lawn chairs or chairs, whichever way they're going to sit. Chairs. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and are you going to perform too? No, I'm not. No? Just with the kids. I but, love the harmonica hounds part. So. Are you going to give away uh, harmonicas? Yes. Or? Yeah. It's every a tradition. Year. Yeah, we're looking for a sponsor. We got one spot left. If someone out there in the in the world would like to be a sponsor of the harmonica hounds, it's a really great event. So. It's the first 50 kids that come in and get free harmonicas, t-shirts, and sunglasses. And then I give them a little mini lesson and they get to jam with the band. So um, Wouldn't it be neat if everyone that has been uh, given a free harmonica over these years comes to, and they all put on a harmonica Yeah, concert? Yeah, that would be great. A reunion. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard from kids that they've stuck yes. with it? Yeah. Yeah, they come to Loose Fest now. They're big fans. Oh, nice. so, yeah. Yeah. They're like 18 and 20. and oh, Yeah, cool. it's crazy. Yeah. I said that about Mojo Phoenix, if we could get together all the musicians we've ever had, we would have a, a big, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> well, when you think about a harmonica, is it lasts forever. Yes. Yeah. As long as you're good to it, you don't yeah. drop it in the lake or something. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't use it to, you know, to hammer nails, but other than that, it, it lasts and lasts. Yes. And family friendly? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. All three days. Okay. So. Can you buy, like, is there a daily pass or how's it work it's ten dollars a day so okay and kids 12 and under are free that's a good deal yeah and is so i can like... give you a three-day pass for thirty dollars if you'd like sure and is there uh like is there any covered areas um no you need to bring your own okay. so yeah bring your own umbrellas because the sun's going to be shining you don't want to get burned and not for the rain it's going to be right. a beautiful day. Yes. Three yeah, beautiful all three days three yeah. beautiful days yep who are do you want to mention any of your Sponsors. Yes, M and K Jetting. He's our title sponsor oh, this year. Oh, M and K Jetting. Yeah, Mark yes. is just uh, he's really great. We brought Mark. him up last year and gave him an autograph harmonica and yeah, he's just uh, it, him and his wife are just um, 
they're both Chris. They're both just really great people. I agree. Mark and Chris Konopecki, they have stepped up big time in the last few years. You'll see their names on this, the Blues Fest, on the ORS Race Series. Uh, they support kids at the uh, ice arena. They are on tons uh, of uh, community events. Yeah, so they're great people. They are. Yeah. Yeah. First time I met him, though, he was kind of off-putting. He's like, Cindy, my name is Mark. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> my wife was just in there, and we got a problem. I'm like, okay, what's the problem? Well, she bought some balloons, and I'm here to tell you, it's not enough. You're going to know me soon. It's bigger, better. It's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I can handle more balloons. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good impersonation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got hearts and right. gold. So, yep. And then we have Experience Jackson. Is a JTV is a title sponsor or a sponsor of it. Um, let's see who else. I hit up Bailey Excavating, O'Hara Construction, Bruton Electric. So um, we've got quite a few new ones this year. And, you know, it's, um, it's really special. But we have room for more if you'd like to be a sponsor. Great, great lineup of sponsors. Now, I get this question uh, frequently about this event. It's, people say, well, what kind of blues is it? Well, there's all kinds of different blues. Yeah. So we hire different bands for every occasion. You know, it's just uh, for every for every listening year. Let's put it that way. Yep. So there, it's, it covers all. You've got St. Louis blues. You've got Chicago blues. Yeah, you've Texas got, blues. Yeah. yeah. Jackson blues. Yeah. And <laughs> speaking of Jackson, you've got Jackson, some Jackson acts. Yes, yeah, yeah, we got a couple. Yep, Big Bob, Bigfoot Bob and the Toe Tappers. And then, um, I don't know, who was the other one we had from here? I think that's about it. Well, our, Is there another one? Harmonica Hounds. Oh, yes, the yeah. Harmonica Hounds, yeah. They'll and be there to give autographs, too, afterwards, if you'd like. People come from, not only the acts, you give the acts from all over the country, but people do come from far away to yes. come to this. Yes, they do. Yep, we help them find hotel rooms. Um, you know, the chamber helps out with that too, locating people to where they want to go. Um, you know, we bring in a lot of commerce into the community because we pay for all the hotel rooms, all the food, all the everything for the musicians. We even have to go to Detroit and rent some special equipment that they may want, you know, like green M&Ms and stuff. Um, but <laughs> so the money stays here and it circulates. And what is it for every every dollar that comes in? It's repeated seven times or something like that. So we we help bring money to the community. That's true. It is a great uh, attraction for Jackson. Yes, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. So. Well, Cindy, while we have you here, it's also balloon season. Uh, yes. What, uh, how's, how's the balloon business these days? <sighs> Exhausting. <laughs> it's so exhausting. Yeah. Well, you're not blowing up the balloons yourself. No, but no. Um, yeah, uh, two weeks ago I put in 92 hours in one week. So wow. um, yeah, I have a cot in the back room. I set a timer for 15 minutes and then jump up and go back to work. But um, yeah, we're doing a, a lot of corporate events like um, Tenneco and um, Mackey, lots of different um, big corporate events and a lot of, of schools. Let's see, Northwest is doing a um, commitment day. So they're having a, a big hoopla at the school. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's just. Um, Lots and lots of orders, and even just orders for bouquets. I mean, I appreciate all the business. Just bring it on. You know? so, and I am looking for help. If you know anyone that needs a job, they have to be able to drive a car and um, read. That's pretty much the requirements. That's it. <laughs> well, I think you have to read in order to drive a car, so that's Yeah, maybe it. so. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. But, yeah, I'm always looking for help, and um, it's just great to take balloons to someone and make them feel, feel you know, good oh, for yeah. the day. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know when they're knocking on the door, you know what they're there with. Yeah, Four. yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I have to call ahead and say, um, I can't call them from the store number, so I call them from my cell number and say, I have a surprise for you because they don't want them to know. Oh, yeah. And they're like, well, who are you? Well, I'm not opening the door. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we did a lot of business for Mother's Day. So um, yeah, I, all the people in the community, they really support us. And in August, it'll be 15 years we've been open. Awesome. It doesn't seem like it, but it's great. So that's great. Well, it's great to have you here. And great Thanks for that we have me. another year of the Jackson Blues Fest. Yeah, in case something changes, we can say the website. Is that right? Yes. It's jacksonbluesfest.com, yep. powered by JTV. Woo! Yeah, so <laughs> if there's any last minute changes, look there or on Facebook. But hopefully everything will go as planned. And we'll see you out there. Just $10 a day. Best entertainment ever. It is a great deal yeah. and a great show. Thanks for putting it on. Thank you for having me here today. Yeah, it's great to see you. You too. Uh, from the Jackson Blues Fest and the Balloon Event, Cindy. Hayden Fuller. Yay! Uh, one of the things uh, 